Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club. The NCAA with NCAA Court but Partner and presenting sponsor Lowe's along with the Nancy Lieberman Foundation and World Ventures Foundation have partnered. They have partnered to build an outdoor multi-purpose sport court and revitalize the landscape at the Boys and Girls Club in conjunction with the 2015 Women's Final Four. At this time, I'd like to introduce Anuka Brown, Vice President of NCAA Women's Basketball Championships. Thank you very much. Well, this is an unbelievable day. And I want to thank everybody for coming this afternoon, especially our darling little ones. The NCAA Team Works represents the ongoing community outreach efforts of the NCAA's national office staff, partners, and local organizations. Through initiatives such as the service learning projects in local schools, disaster relief efforts, and, and volunteer opportunities, the NCAA and its partners work together to leave a lasting legacy in the communities we touch, especially communities like this, which is where our Final Four is next weekend. Legacy is one of the core principles of NCAA Teamworks, leaving a lasting legacy behind for the citizens of the community is extremely important to us and our partners. Today, as part of the NCAA Legacy Restorations presented by Lowe's, our phenomenal partner, we are here to dedicate this project to the people of this wonderful community. As a part of community outreach efforts in 2015 for the NCAA Women's Final Four, in partnership with Lowe's, Nancy Lieberman Foundation, and World Ventures Foundation, today's ceremony will unveil the new outdoor multi-purpose dream court and revitalization of the outdoor spaces here at the Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club. I got to spend some time with Dee a couple months ago at a parade, and her story is phenomenal, and what she's done here is phenomenal, and it really is about community, and she is a, she is a testament to that. The NCAA has been blessed to have wonderful corporate partners in Lowe's. Lowe's shares our vision of importance of community service, and it was never more apparent to us than after working with them to complete this project. In addition to the work completed here in Tampa, two legacy restorations presented by Lowe's are also being unveiled in Indianapolis during the men's final four this week. We've seen the employees of Lowe's, the heroes, our neighbors, who happen to be Lowe's employees, commit their time and talents to actively lead by example by doing everything from painting to clean up and revitalizing around this club. We applaud the local, we, local World Ventures fundraisers who took the time to raise the funds for this project. That's huge. And we also want to thank Connor, Spalding and a number of other contractors who provided the materials and expertise for this project. And last but not least, we'd th like to thank the Tampa Bay Local Organizing Committee for the hard work and great partnership, and it truly is a partnership. In this event, as we prepare for next week's Women's Final Four being played in Amelie Arena, how many of you are coming? That's a place you have to be. If you haven't, tell your mom and dad, we gotta be there. Everybody really needs to be at that event. It's a celebration of women, and it's a celebration of your community. At this time, I'd like to welcome Tom Berenger, Lowe's Market Director, who'll provide additional details regarding Lowe's participation in this event. All right, good afternoon, and thank you. On behalf of all of my friends from Lowe's, including the many hardworking associates and volunteers from our stores that are out here today, we are thrilled to be part of today's events. Today is truly special because we get to celebrate the completion of the Dream Court Outdoor Beautification here at Freddie Solomon's Boys and Girls Club. The NCAA Legacy Restorations presented by Lowe's was born out of a desire to leave a lasting impact in the 2015 NCAA championship host cities. 
and we hope that's exactly what the improvements we're celebrating here today will do for the Tampa Bay and surrounding community. At Lowe's, we know community improvement projects are not a do-it-yourself job. Lasting change, lasting change happens when people work together. It takes leadership and also commitment to make it happen. It takes a team. And that's what you've seen throughout this project. Leadership, commitment, and teamwork. I want to thank the NCAA, Nancy Lieberman Foundation, World Ventures Foundation, and our Lowe's Associate Volunteers at, and the Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club for your help in making the transformation of this fa uh, facility a reality today. <laughs> All right. We are truly honored to be part of this project and look forward to continuing to work together to make a lasting impact in the Tampa Bay community. Thank you. Appreciate it, Brian. Thank you, Tom. Now please welcome the Community Relations Director for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tampa Bay, Ricky Gallen. Thank you. I'd just like to say uh, for, since 1929, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tampa Bay has been providing a safe place for kids to learn and grow in a safe environment. Uh, last year, we served over 12,000 kids. We served kids between the ages of 5 to 18. We're very pleased to be a part of this program, and we're more than happy to have this in this community. Thank you so much, and for a lot of us, this is a dream come true. Thank you. And now, please welcome Dan Stamen, the CEO of World Ventures. Wow, thank you very much. Tell you what, it's an honor to be here representing the World Ventures Foundation. I'm truly excited and also really pleased to uh, have our company as a national partner with Boys and Girls Clubs of America. I can tell you that uh, I spent many a day uh, growing up in Sarasota at the Boys and Girls Club on Fruitville Road. I mean, practically lived at that place. And uh, I still have friends today that uh, I know that I met at that club. So I'm really excited about uh, just our involvement and participation uh, with the uh, Boys and Girls Clubs. And, um, and the thing that uh, you know, I want to give a real big shout out to is our marketing representatives for helping raise uh, the funds for this court. You guys are amazing. We appreciate you so much. I appreciate all your hard work and commitment. And uh, you know, I know that um, you know the kids are going to have a great time, and they're going to you know have so many great memories on this court, and just you know building friendships. Um, obviously, learning the game of basketball. Are you kids excited about this court? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let you cut you loose in a minute. When we do uh, start shooting around, I want Ricky on my team, Nancy on my team, and everybody else. You can have anybody you want on yours. So, but I know that building the court was no small endeavor, and. Uh, um, the thing that comes to mind most, you know, we have 400,000 members all over the world uh, that participate in our travel club and, you know, hundreds of thousands of hours people will go out and they'll actually work on our voluntourism trips or building a school or, you know, our clean water projects. And I know that so many of our members, they say to themselves, wow, I'm going to go help, you know, these children. I'm going to go help build this school. I'm going to do something for the kids. But in reality, what happens is they change the most. Those of you, everybody here today that was involved in this endeavor, I know that the true personal growth and development, the kids are going to have a great time, but it's what you've been able to do in giving back and paying it forward and the value you're going to receive and the changes you're going to receive in your life from helping is actually the real key to what we're all doing here today. And I can't think of a uh, you know, a better person that knows how to pay it forward than uh, the next lady that's going to come up. She's a true friend, a uh, business partner of ours. Uh, she's actually a great coach, basketball Hall of Famer. Please help me welcome Nancy Lieberman. I'm going to take these off so you guys can actually see my heart and my soul. Through this project first i want to thank the, the city of tampa for for hosting us for honoring us for loving us and for everybody turning out thank you lowe's for what you did to beautify everything around this court and the boys and girls clubs 
somebody told me a long time ago you can't do anything by yourself nobody who's been great has ever done it by themselves that person was Muhammad Ali who's been my lifelong friend and my hero when I look at these dream courts I can look at Anuka Brown and I can say basketball brought us together we might look different but we have such a love and sisterhood we've known each other since Nuke was about 17 and I was a little older than 17 <laughs> we met in Brooklyn we've been lifelong friends so the reason these courts are called dream courts because it was our dream to be on a court to compete to have friendships camaraderie I mean, all it was about was street cred, responsibility, reliability. Are you showing up or are you not showing up? And what I can say is that Connor Sports, you show up for us. Sportscape, where's Jeff Chambers? Where are you, Jeff? Right here. Thank you for showing up for us. The NCAA with uh, Anuka and, and Victor Hill and everybody, we're honored. We're humbled that you would want to partner with us on these dream courts. World Ventures, I don't even know where to start with World Ventures. Uh, Emily, she's Emily, stand up for a second, honey. She, this thing doesn't happen without Emily Thomas. She works endless hours. You know, we get a lot of the credit, and she does just plows away, grinds every day to make this right, you know, for, for the associates, for the reps, for everybody that's a part of raising the money so we can give back to communities. See, it's our job to connect our generation to your generation. We have to bridge that gap because long after we're not here, these are the kids that are going to take our values, they're gonna take giving, they're gonna take fellowship, and they're gonna take it to the next level. When I was younger, and I was a poor kid from New York, Nuka knows that, I never thought I'd be standing in front of you today. God is good, and he has blessed me, okay? We're doing this from our heart. We're doing everything we do is with love. I started out, I was learning. I got to the middle part of my life. I was earning, and at this stage of my life, I'm returning. We are giving it back. You know, Maya Angelou says, preach, girl, preach. <laughs> But Maya Angelou once said, don't go through life with two mitts. You gotta throw something back. So this group right here, World Ventures, the NCAA, Sport Court, Lowe's, the, the, the local organizing committee, Tampa, we're, we're doing this together because we're powerful together. This is our 14th Dream Court. We've built Dream Courts for Billy Crystal in New York. We built it for Larry Fitzgerald in his hometown in Minneapolis. We built it for Jordan Sparks, the amazing singer in Indy. We've, Saturday night I had the pleasure, I don't want to cry here because Nuka's here, she thinks I'm tough. But I was with, you know, at Muhammad Ali's event in Phoenix and we're dedicating a dream court to Muhammad and Lani Ali. I mean, because we want to do this, because we want to do the right thing always. So with that, uh, again, I just would like to say thank you to everybody. The volunteers, I don't know you all by name, but I have such a deep appreciation for everybody who's been a part of this. The Boys and Girls Clubs, you change people's lives, man. Every single day, how you walk, how you talk, the look, the high five, the point. You know, like if I throw a pass to Anuka and she scores, you know what she does? She's saying thank you. Thank you for making me better than I thought I could be. So today is about a celebration of making people better, bringing people together, because we get to change the world. We get to show people we can love each other even though we don't look like each other. So with that, I just want to say uh, again, thank you. God bless each and every one of you. Hopefully I did not forget anybody. Did I, Emily? Did I, did I forget anybody? I hope not. But again, thank you so much, and I will be back here for the Final Four. Be well. Well, a special thanks to Nancy and her foundation, along with the World Ventures Foundation and Lowe's, for providing this incredible court to the Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club. At this time, I'd like to invite the executive director of the local organizing committee, Rob Higgins, and the University of South Florida athletic director, Mark Harlan, to the podium.
how in the world did we get picked to follow Nancy Lieberman? Let's give one more round of applause. Incredible passion certainly shows through, Nancy. Thanks for all you've done here. You know, we have absolutely fallen in love with the Women's Final Four. Our community loves the Women's Final Four. People ask why. And it's because of a phrase that, that Tom from Lowe's just used a minute ago. Lasting impact. This community rallies around this event and loves the Women's Final Four because of the lasting impact that a Women's Final Four has in our community. So thank you to Anuka, her whole team. The partnership that we have with this event is incredible. We could not be more appreciative. Let's give a round of applause to the NCAA. Also, just from our perspective, want to also thank again Lowe's, the Boys and Girls Club here with Freddie Solomon, <clears throat> Boys and Girls Club, and World Ventures for their incredible partnership as well. Let's give them a round of applause. Up next, I want to introduce our good friend here. We talk about partnership and teammates. We could have no better teammate than our host institution on the Women's Final Four with the University of South Florida and their great athletic director, Mark Harlan. He's going to touch briefly on that lasting impact that a facility like this will, will have on our community. So thanks so much, Mark. Thank you. Young people over there, am I in the way of you guys playing right now? Is it, is it down to me? So I'm going to be quick, okay? Let me just say this. There's one problem with this court as I, as I walk through it. It's too nice. Because what's going to happen is, young people, are you listening? My student athletes, right, that are in college, right, got a scholarship, you know what I'm talking about? And play for the Bulls, right? They're going to see this court, and guess what? They're going to come over here and start playing on this court. And guess what happens when they come here and start playing on this court? They're going to start playing with you. They're going to start playing with you. And that's the lasting part. You know, we're neighbors. We're neighbors, right? We're right down the street. It took me eight minutes for my office to get here. So what I want to talk about very briefly is what we're going to do going forward. On this court and those walls and on these fields, our student athletes are going to start being here and be a part of what got them there. Because every one of my student athletes has an amazing story. And guess what? It wasn't easy. I promise you it wasn't easy. But it was courts like this and people like this that made it happen for them in a lot of different ways. They were lifted. All right? So what we're trying to do here is lift everybody. Around an, an incredible event this weekend. Nice city you picked. I'm sorry about the weather. <laughs> sorry. Apologize for that. But an incredible way to start this whole week of festivity. So, again, the Bulls are honored to be a part of this event. But I want to say this, our student athletes are coming and they're going to be here shortly and they're going to be a part of this club going forward because we're honored to be a part of that and it's exactly what we should do. So thank you very much. I certainly want to echo a, a number of the comments that were made this morning. The one thing I do want to also say is growing up in Brooklyn, New York, I started out in the Boys and Girls Club. My mother used to say, get out of the house. There were six of us, get out. And we used to come back before the, before the street lights came on. I was at the Boys and Girls Club. And so it's these community-based organizations that make such a huge difference in the lives of inner city kids. And I will tell you that my ball started on the court. I wasn't able to go to the camps. So I started on the basketball court that was outside about a block down the street from my house. These courts and these opportunities for young people in these communities change lives. And so this work, again, I want to I thank Lowe's, phenomenal partner, World Ventures, Nancy Lieberman Foundation. You all have come together in partnership to deliver this to this community, and it, and, and it will stand forever. Um, at this time, I would also like to invite Ricky Gallen, Community Relations Director for the Boys and Girls Club of Tampa Bay, up to the stage. We want to present him with this plaque, and we want everybody to give him a round of applause and this community a round of applause, because this is going to stay forever. <laughs> Okay, at this time, we're going to actually go to that court, right? Where's Paula? We're going to that court, and we are going to truly initiate this court for you. There it is. 
This court is officially dedicated.